Hey everybody, welcome back to the 100 days of 2026 NEC Code Changes. I'm Ryan Jackson and I hope you've been enjoying the video series so far. All right, so as I mentioned a couple of times, I, I love it when, when somebody finds a hole in the code that's been there for like 100 years that nobody ever noticed. And that's what we have today. Let me ask you a question. How many degrees of bends can you have in a raceway? And of course, everybody's going to say 360, right? Well, what if I have rigid and then I put in a rigid coupling and I transition over to IMC, which is listed for both, right? Can I have 360 degrees of bends in the rigid and then just use a coupling and have 360 degrees worth of IMC and then a transition fitting to flex and have 360 degrees worth of flex? Well, it uh, depends on which edition of the code. <laughs> Prior to the 2026, the answer was yes. You could absolutely do that. So it's one of those funny things, man. My friend, this was uh, my buddy one more time up in Boston. Russ caught this and uh, brought it to the attention of the code making panel. And everybody was shocked that he was dead right. It was not a violation. So Article 300 still general requirements for wiring methods and materials. 300.24 bends. The total number of bends in combinations of different types of raceways is now addressed. All right, so the total number of bends in any, combina in any combination of conduit or tubing wiring methods must not exceed 360 degrees between pole points. Now, again, I know you're all saying that was already required, Ryan. No, it wasn't. In the EMT article, it said you're limited to 360 degrees. In the flex article, it said you're limited to 360 degrees. In the rigid article, right, you get what I'm saying. But nowhere did it say that the combination, the total installation, is limited to 360 degrees. Now, looking at this picture here, I think we have a violation. I mean, that looks like one, two, three, four, probably five 90s just in the flex in the liquid tight alone. So I think that's certainly a violation. But before, you could have had four 90s in the liquid tight, four 90s in the EMT and then transitioned over here to rigid and had 490s in it. And uh, you'd be hard pressed to tell me what section of the code was violated because I don't think there was one. So there you go. One of those rules that, boy, we all thought it was there the whole time and it never was. So uh, there you go. Kind of a fun little change to, uh, to close out Article 300. We're going to get into one of the biggest changes in the code in a very long time when we talk about 310.5. 310.5 talks about what conductors can be installed in a building, and uh, this change was nine years in the making. I hope you'll uh, I hope you'll hear what we have to say on it because it's a big deal and you don't want to miss it. So please be safe out there, and I'll see you on the next video when we talk about section 310.5. See you then.